our mining industry is facing an unprecedented challenge today. We've collectively committed to these long-term goals of greenhouse gas reduction. That could be a combination of using alternative fuels, that could be using biofuels, all the way to a truly battery electric machine. It's that customer's pathway to get to their own reduced emission solution. No two sites are the same. Depending on the life of a mine, the mix of the fleet, the age of their fleet, diesel cost in their region, do they have access to renewable energy? Are there impacts to their use of diesel fuel or the carbon tax? All could be factors that play into the end solution and how much they need to reduce now as well as in the future. It all starts with planning, and that means working together to understand what are our site goals. Working with CAT job site solutions, working with our dealer network to do site assessments, to do payload and productivity studies, to understand maintenance practices. Through those mechanisms of getting to know the site better, we can really deliver optimal solutions. Can we rebuild to extend the life of the fleet? Whether that's just rebuilding the powertrain or rebuilding the entire machine, you can couple that with CAT Reman, which reduces the amount of waste that goes into landfills and allows us to recycle the equipment, lower the total cost of ownership, and improve our greenhouse gas and emissions output. Miners have to make environmental reductions as well as achieve productivity and cost goals. So that really helps extend the life of our existing assets. Autonomous haulage in Caterpillar's MindStar portfolio helps a client or customer transition to an emission-reduced mine site in a variety of ways. Having great utilization and really truly optimizing the fleet helps reduce non-productive time and really helps the client focus on moving tons safer and not having extra fuel burn. From an assignment engine perspective, making sure that the trucks are going exactly where they need to go, making sure all of the operation knows exactly what charging is needed and when, will ultimately help all of those machines work together in one single ecosystem. By utilizing that technology, it really helps the customer look at their own plan for what it's gonna take to get them to a truly electric fleet in the future. The focus shifted from the machine, and can we develop a battery electric machine, to how do I get my site ready to accept this new technology? How do I get my people ready? How do I manage the change that comes with putting a battery electric machine at my site? We launched what's called our Early Learner Program to accelerate our understanding of what is the impact of the energy transition on a customer's site. How does it impact their people, their process, their technology, and their infrastructure? One of the biggest takeaways so far is that the real problem to solve is an energy management problem. It's looking at the whole site and understanding, is there enough renewable energy coming to site? Once it's to site, how is it distributed? How are you managing the energy on not only the mobile equipment, but also your energy transfer solutions? With a battery electric fleet, transferring energy onto the machine is a critical element in the uptime of the machine. You can either transfer it statically, so the machine pulls up to a charging station, or it can transfer it dynamically, where the machine is transferring energy while it's moving and doing work. Our new CAT Dynamic Energy Transfer System provides a highly flexible solution. So it's able to move and grow as the mine plan changes, and you're able to uninstall it and reinstall it within a matter of days, not months. And you can utilize it on today's diesel electric equipment. This could serve as a great bridging strategy towards the future, helping our customers achieve their interim objectives, it could also set up a great building block for the future if they intend to go to a fully battery electric fleet. We're extremely excited about the positive impact that our new CAT Dynamic Energy Transfer System can have on our customers' operations, their climate-related objectives, and the overall impact of the productivity at the site. I think one of the things we can do in this moment in history is work more closely together. We really believe that planning together, working together, understanding those goals can deliver the best solutions that not only make an environmental impact, but also deliver better cost, better productivity, and safety along the way.